I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas and Welding Supply. Uh, we're here again today to uh, do an unboxing video of the new Millermatic 255. It just came in um, probably two days ago, and uh, here it is. So, uh, one thing I will note on this thing, we got we put it up on our regular table here. It is heavy. I mean, it is the machine itself weighs 84 pounds. But boy, that box with all the accessories. I, you gotta be careful when you get this machine because it's it's extremely heavy. So, all right, let's let's open this box. Alright. So if you wanna come in and see what we got going on here, so we're out of the package. You can see regulator flow meter right on top. The 255 comes standard now with a Bernard gun. It's a Q300 gun, uh, 15 foot. Center fire now, uh, consumables, nice gun. Those are really nice. Gun. Once again, it's it's pack. I mean, Miller does a heck of a job packaging these, these things so they travel well. Here's our owner's uh, record, owner's manual. Comes with a metal gauge. Different from what I see. Your gas hose. As you can see, it's a little bit difficult to get out of that box. It has these styrofoam feet on it. I didn't even quite see down in there, but those are all in the bottom. Here's our power cord. There it is, the new Millermatic 255. <coughs> Good looking machine right out of the box. All right, now that we got the machine unboxed here, um, I got the MIG gun put on, ground clamp put on, uh, positive terminal connected, got our gas cylinder, gas hooked up. Uh, let's flip the machine out here. So power, the on off switch is in the front. Tells you your input voltage. Oh, and it jumps right to an auto set feature here. So, on this unit, there's uh, several different things that um, are new and innovative. So, going from the 252 to the 255, this one has more programmable settings. It has Pulse MIG, um, and it, you can store up to five programs on it. Um, and it also has auto set, which, as you can see, gives us a 19 volts 351 inches per minute this is just what came up um, so to go back and forth this is a little bit different these mach these two buttons right here they go <clears throat> they, they'll jog that little white square back and forth so what we're what we're well on that was the gas right here you change it to 100% co2 gives you your setup where the where everything goes and then you're on 100% CO2 if you're running 7525 gives you back your setup 7525 right there um, let's just see the settings though we got mild steel so that's 9010 gas that's stainless steel gives you your setup how you're gonna that's actually using a trimix gas and then gas cell shield flux core And then you got self shield flux car. You got it. so it toggles through there. Pretty cool on auto set. On the wire right here, this one just goes through each one. So 035, 030, 035, 0045. And then material thickness back and forth again. If you go up quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, half inch, and then you. That's it. That's it. And then you just back back down if you want a 14 gauge. Pretty neat on the thing. Now that that's on auto set. You can shut auto set off by hitting that button. Runs you back through this. And now you're in manual manual mode, which you can adjust your voltage here inches per minute. There is no auto set feature. There's no target settings on this. Go to program. And so you got 
four programs you got home hold the button down for the programmable settings or over, overwrite the current settings so if you hold that boom that's program one 19 volts 20 227 inches a minute I, I just showed you what the how to do that that program that's not any glorified settings go back home you can go to setup you can get wire and gas type steel 7525 wire diameter inductance pre-flow time post-flow time run-in time auto 60 inches a minute fast tack now this is something new um that you can enable it so fast tack is a within five seconds of pulling the trigger it does away with run-in so you can just if you have fast tack on pull the trigger and let go it'll give you instant wire feed speed right out of the gate there is no run-in mode there is no run-in feature so fast tacks if you're tacking apart and you're just pulling the trigger and going along you don't have to wait for this run-in mode you can just turn fast tack on so that's enabled and now you disable it you just disable then you got crater mode which is um right at the end of your weld you let go of the trigger it'll still feed wire and weld because it's filling your crater at the end pretty cool and spot time um goes up to it goes up pretty high 120 seconds so let's go we'll go home and we'll click on pulse now it's asking for 9010 gas which we don't have here but this is what the pulse screen looks like arc length is at 50 I think it's just a nominal number goes up to 99 0 to 99 um, 50 is middle of the road 227 inches a minute I think it'll go up we'll see what it goes up to 700 inches a minute go back down um let's turn on the auto set for and we're gonna we'll turn on pulse mig for the auto set function And there's your auto set pulse mig setting see it gives you the target of 50 70s on the upper end 31s on the lower end that's adjusting arc arc length and then this is inches per minute 210 down to 190 so interesting gives you the target settings 045 90 10 gas 316 pretty cool well uh let's try uh setting up this machine i'll put wire in it and uh we'll give it a shot on welding here all right, so I put the spool of wire in, got a gas turned on, we're running 035. We're gonna try the auto set function on this machine. Um, run 7525 gas, got that set up, 035 wire, and I got a piece of 3 8 plate. So that's what, that's what it gave me, that's what the target setting is. 22.3, 442 is the target setting on inches per minute. Let's give it a shot and see how it welds. Just on right out of the box auto set function here. Piece of 3 play. Pretty good, right out of the for that setting that they had. I don't know. That's that's pretty nice. I like that. Now, just to give you something to let's turn that auto set off. We'll try the little setup and we'll just we'll switch our gas. We'll try it on manual mode, see how it welds. 19 volts. Let's give let's try the 22. Let's try 350. Just to just to give you a, a little look at what manual mode's like, you just have to adjust both things. Um, Let's 
Well, that was just in <coughs> manual mode. Um, that was just parameters I picked. Welded great though. Um, pretty nice short arc. I can't can't complain. That's a nice welding machine. So, um, give you a little difference. I know one of the questions that we've been getting a lot is, what is the difference between the 255 and the 252? So, 252 is a transformer machine. The 255 is an inverter machine. So it's lighter, it's smaller, smaller package. 255, programmable settings, uh, seven inch LED screen. Um, you can change the setup, it's got auto set. Uh, whereas the 252 has none of that. It's just a transformer machine, you adjust both settings. Um, it's all manual. So that's the main difference. More technology, user friendly. Whereas the 252, uh, you, not to say you had to know more about welding, you just needed to know more about parameters, what weld settings you wanted to run. Whereas this, you set it on auto set, it gives you a target setting, you just tell what size plate. So there's the main difference between the two. Inverter, auto set, big screen, 252 is just a transforming machine. and. Uh, but all in all, a great, great little machine. Uh, welds really nice. Another uh, function or feature on this machine that it differs from the 252 is that it has a pulse setting. So um, in the next video, uh, stay tuned. There's going to be some more coming along. We're going to try pulse welding with this machine. I'm going to run 9010 gas. And uh, we're going to try out some uh, different features on it. Uh, we're going to try the fast tack on it. And just to see what all the things that it does that are different from the 252 but again thanks for watching my video um tune into at baker's gas on youtube and uh thanks again for watching